Well, I tell you one quick story about Richard Gary. Yes, the guy Richard Gary. You know, he's a pretty woman, Julia. Now, nah, yeah, Richard Gary. And it's true about the rabbit, in, you know, the rabbit in the tube. Yeah, anyways. So, I go to a place in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, because... I was doing announcing, a very good voice for announcement. I announced big uh, dry queen party, you know, the dry queens. I announced everything. This is a Mrs. So, so dry queen, uh, USA. So, okay, so, and I make a joke. Anyways, so I go and invite a VIP and I go to uh, this place called the Copa. It's a Copa. Yeah, like the Copa. Okay, but it's a Copa in Fort Lauderdale. It's the hottest part north of Havana before New York. Little place called Copa, and it's just make a lot of people furry with the butterflies flying around in the bar. You know, a lot of drag queens and a lot of people say hello, and the voices are all low, but they know soprano. Okay, so then I go early because I am preparation for show, and I have dressing room, and I have to go dressing. Nobody watch me dress. And I come in, it's about the 40 p.m. The afternoon, happy hour. They open happy hour at 5 o'clock, but show come 8. Anyways, always 1 o'clock in the morning. Anyways, I go to do the show. This, have my coffee. I like it for French leather, for sugar, for shakes of milk. Well, you got it, okay. You understand? I tell you about coffee. Anyways, but today I have double shot of coffee, two of them, and this from an expensive place that uh, now is it just coming to business. I don't remember the year, maybe maybe a year was nineteen ninety four, I don't know. Ninety six. But you see Starbucks coming, big coffee. And I don't like it, but I like him I tell you I like from that one place in Dunk. Dunk I Dunk Dunkin' Donuts. At where at this so I come in to work, to bar, and to come with my microphone and stuff. The outfit the one hand on the other, and two things, and I put it next to the bar. And I got up to noon, and I said, I'm checking in. He said, bartender, yeah, we do. He goes to take the manager. These are guys sitting bar. I don't know, three seat away. Right in the middle. He said, like a shape of O, you know, half of an eight, other half of eight, okay? And he's sitting on butt of eight, and I'm on the top side of eight. I guess I was top in that situation. Okay, so I, I look at he look like a rich guy. I say, rich guy. This is guy, the pretty woman, rich guy. Yes, I know. This is very interesting. So I, be an actor, you know, I say to him, I say, excuse me, sir. Did anybody ever tell you you look a lot like Richard Gere? I bet you hear a lot of jokes about gerbils. Val, I don't think I like too much. I try to give compliment look Richard Gere, but I don't know artists, but I like Richard Gere. I recognize him. I just play stupid and act like I don't know celebrity. So I tell him, Yes, and nobody tell you nothing about the gerbil incident. And he gave me a nasty look. He put his hand up to his ear. I think he trying to turn up hearing aid. He's old man, I don't know. And the naked thing, you know, I have a two men next to me. One is a big guy, black man. And one is a big guy, the white man. And they both have a duck of glass and in the black suit. And the both of them look like a man. So the two big guy come and tell me the one say very quietly in my ear. He said, please listen to me carefully. Don't bother my client again. I said, I apologize. I just tell him that he look like a Richard Giri. The guy with the gerbil, you know, actor. I say he looked like him. He's compliment. 
He said, Mr. Gear doesn't want to talk to you. This security guy told me, he don't want to talk to me, Mr. Richard Gear. Now I'm mad, you know, but I, I got to at least ask him the question about the gerbil. <laughs> Next time I tell you even funnier story. <laughs>